I have done the outdoor thing for close to seven years on and off. And there are some of the things I wish I knew at some point. I wish you know if you are a beginner or if you have been jogging and some things are not working out. Or you just want to know how safer you can make it. Uh, safer in terms of reducing the risks the attack and possibly injury. Which could in the long run make you like waste a lot of money. Who can for treatments or even time because the recovery beat after injury is not fun you stop working you stop working out you stop being healthy and it is just nerve working so i want to tell you some of the things that you can do and others that you should stop like now you stop doing them because one they don't work or they're just a waste of time and probably money and high chance of getting injuries Good morning it is early in the morning and my tripod um slept ready to do this thing in the morning i am right after a jog and i thought i would do a video just to tell you some of the things that you can do to reduce your risk of injury or even attack which might in the long run end up uh, making you waste a lot of time okay recover and okay end up for treatments and also a lot of money when it comes to maybe losing stuff or yeah, even going to the doctors. The doctor's affair in this country is very expensive and it is not bargainable. I don't know why. Do you know you can never bargain on um, health matters in this country? It is the only place you go and do a 10,000 for this test. Fine, shika. If it is your first time, my name is Rachel. I do more than this fitness shenanigan thing. I do cooking, I do time and money saving videos, very honest and reliable reviews. I also motivate you to stay active because it is not always about the body. So please subscribe to this channel. You will help it grow and at the same time, you will be able to see future uploads. So we start off this video. So early in the morning or later in the evening jog. That is always the question when you tell people that you jog. I have done both. And my take would be early in the morning. Be, the reason being, early in the morning, the weather is a little bit cooler. All right. There are few people out and about wherever you'll be jogging. And assuming that you'll be jogging along the roads, the major roads in Nairobi, for example. Another thing is you just get it done and you're done for the day. You get your energy boost early in the morning. Contamination rates here. Yeah, air in the morning is usually less compared to later in the day another thing you eat or you jog on an empty stomach here is the thing if you know that you will be doing any activity in less than uh, like up to two hours of activity then you don't need to eat all right you can take a simple uh shake protein shake or something just to kickstart your day a banana or something but that could also give you like stomach cramps and very um troublesome stomach actually you don't need all that but if you're taking some a very high intensity training for past like two hours then you can eat a very good um protein full uh, breakfast we are talking about something like a banana eggs and oatmeal that would be it or your toast or bread get hydrated and this is what you need to do immediately you wake up all right before you even dress up to go outside and run just take a cup of water a glass of water warm cold your preference really nothing matters here you can do it without anything you can do it with apple cedar you can do it with lemon just your ordinary way of hydrating take some water by the time you dress and get ready to go you will have visited the toilet so that will be okay so you can do water you can also do your energy drink if you do energy drinks but you know energy drinks they are full of sugar and all that it is very uncomfortable when you're outdoor running and you feel like going to the toilet it is messy and very uncomfortable so to avoid all this get the benefits of fasted cardio by taking water when you take water just go out there and do your thing and 
yeah don't fertilize our forest okay or at the side of the road it is nasty so now that i have told you some of the things that i really uh was bothered with then when i started and i think they form the major conversation surrounding jogging and all that i think it is time i tell you the do's and don'ts what i have been seeing you doing koizo barabara and what it will eventually do to you in most cases a running starts with someone telling you that you need to join them so 90 something percent of everyone who starts running or morning jogs is usually because someone suggested ni join to and join to your friend is running and you're thinking ah oh, they are looking so good you need to take care of yeah your situation your body and you think it is a good idea you join them which is a good thing if you're motivated that way but you need to prepare preparation calls for the appropriate clothing when you're outdoors baggy clothes are going to increase the risk of injury because imagine running with a very baggy uh, jacket and then you are going like this and then your mkono gets trapped kwa, kwa let's say pocket here yeah, that jacket you can fall badly or oversized uh what track suit you step on the whatever and you trip so appropriate clothing is very important too tight will also make it hell for you you are jogging or running and at the same time you're trying to tack some situations that are getting out of hand it is not going to be very very appropriate look for fitting clothes that fit you so well that are accommodating every situation that you have and then that will make it easier for you to run without trouble now this is a big mistake this is a big mistake you know what is the, the worst mistake that you can do this this is the reason you are jogging or running uh, running clothes need to be breathable breathable in a way that they are not going to absorb that sweat so if you are running or jogging with anything that is cotton you are risking the chances of getting an infection which could be very severe in the long run and can even be fatal at some point depending on whether it will be dealt with in good time feeling not so good especially when you start the jogging running business and it is part of the process achy muscles achy everything you are just start annuals in auma so imagine assuming that is just part of the process and then you ignore little do you know that you have contracted some infection that is wearing down your lungs and infecting your system inside and as a result you get sick and it is not something to play around with so don't do this and don't do this like i said this is a mistake this is the worst that you can do instead what you need to do is do what i am wearing you see this is a breathable jacket it will keep you warm at the same time it will not retain that sweat so that mwili naendelea kuipata and inside this is one of the things that you should be having a breathable vest or t-shirt made with such materials don't do this at whatever cost just do this you are safer this way and you reduce the risk of getting sick which will weigh you down being unproductive and spending a lot of money running into the hospitals and even risking some other very serious situations a mistake that you should not do is jog and then somewhere along the road you realize that you may feel joto sana and you're sweating so much and you need to uh, unzip your jacket don't do that don't don't do that wear your jacket all through and a jog and a kimbie when you get home take some time cool down and then you can shower you have had or if you have never that there, there are cases whereby someone goes jogging comes home jumps direct to the shower and they collapse and go men all right to make work workout and you are in your perfect shape my six pack zimeanza kutokea and you're feeling all super dope so tomorrow unataka kutesa kwa barabara you and your vest i see that a lot 
the crew that does that see wale watu wana try with their bellies or big and all that it is usually the the men that you see have put a lot of work some noticeable like work and things are working and they just wake up earphones their vest and their little short and their shoes and they're out there running or jogging with your vest is going to harm you in the long run so that is not something you need to do celebrate your your fitness gains and everything maybe later in the day by wearing those fitting t-shirts that you like perfectly no one is going to go against that and even if they do that is their business i know that is relevant point is don't run in your vest it is not a good thing you look good maybe i don't know but you are risking it out don't risk don't risk don't risk to go jogging in these this is not a good practice you need something that has some bouncing power in uh reduce the impact when you're landing that way you reduce or minimize on chances of injury and for the ladies this is a bad thing because your hip area that is the pelvic zone it is likely to get achy and all that if you run in these because all the weight is coming down on the knees and on the ankles and on your feet so you are likely to get injured more if you run with an appropriate shoes in short what i am saying is don't do this okay this is a no this is a yes this is just what i have been wearing of course see safi you get it do this something simple something basic something when you step on you can bounce something that has uh, some grip on height at eleza kwa hizo cabro rods that we have around where i jog a good shoe will come hand in hand with a good socks and you need to observe uh the the like they generally the hygiene that comes with that i suggest that you have a, a like two pairs because if you jog like monday to friday for example and you're using one pair of a shoe you are risking the kind of issues that you could be having from the fungal infections to all that but if you have like two sport shoes you can run with one today then air it just wipe outside and then put it in a place where it can take a breather for the day and use the other one tomorrow use socks that are very good in absorbing all that make sure that you get the shoes and the socks that are comfortable enough talking about appropriate clothing ladies support what's need what needs to be supported i know it sounds funny but the gravity the aging uh process is working against your expectations so don't help the whole process by wearing your normal bras when you're out there jogging on or, or when you're working out especially when you're doing anything that requires a jumping kind of situation so invest in a good sports bra it is very important it is not beginnable if you don't wear a good bra you might likely have a situation with your shoulders because of uh, the weight issue and that has to do with like how and odd you are breast wise so the more you have the more you need to invest in a good sports bra it is not beginnable if you mess that up you will have back and shoulder issues and your bust area is made up of very fatty kind of situations and the more you jump without support the more the more they tear and the more they appear so when you you jump up and down the whole bust area should be going up and down uniformly if they are able to bounce one after the other my friend you are doing it but i see this this is common with the ladies and you know waist trainers work or you have heard that they should be used you wake up in the morning and tie it round so tight the way it is advisable you tie that and you go out jogging please stop doing this all you need for the midsection that we are looking for is your clean diet that means you just eat real food less processed and good portions stay hydrated and give it some work and you should be okay 
waist trainers restrict the movement of organs and when there is that pressure applied on them there is less oxygen going to the organs and all that you will be increasing your chances of fainting you faint when you faint you can hurt yourself badly or some other things bad things could happen so stop this if you love music i do love music i do a lot of music when i am not working out and when i am working out when i am on the road it is music for me so you might do this or even um this or whatever that is on my mask here. now first things first if you are running while your treadmill indoors or in the park at least you are sure that there are no borders coming your way there are no cars trying to detour from the main road to where unakimbia i would be lying to tell you that i have not seen someone being hit by a border because anakimbia from the market and the guy is thinking there is no way it turn on that person without hitting them and you have no side mirrors of course you can't hear them hoot right so the next thing someone is down because they assume umeskia and they don't take the initiative of at least making sure that umeskia kimbia too outdoor when you don't have any distraction that way you can hear when someone is hooting and you just uh songa yeah give them way and be safe if you want to do some outdoor running come jogging and all that please invest in some sunscreen i know it is called sunscreen but this thing can protect you uh, like uh, you know how they put it here nimechoma na baridi and it is it is just the same way that you get sunburn marks but this time round it is the other way around it is the cold that is hitting you when you're running so wake up in the morning down your cup of water wash your face visually just wake up perfectly then apply your sunscreen you need a very good uh, sunscreen invest in a like waterproof sunscreen that way uki sweat it won't get into your eyes and then you start being itchy and all that so just get a basic uh waterproof sunscreen so talking about matter skin there is also a condition of the skin that it is usually called i think akin mechanica or something i'm not sure about the word but simply put it is like some acne that develops because you have been running outdoors and sweating and the incorporating of the sweat, the cold, the dust and all that. So take good care of your skin. I always say that you should take good care of your skin internally. Make sure that you stay hydrated. And one thing to avoid getting that acne kind of business is to make sure that you, you don't run or jog with your makeup on. I know the makeup thing is just so obsessive and it is slavery at some point i think so and i think people should just turn uh, the whole thing down that is not my business by the way irrelevant but my point is if you want to go jogging if you want to run if you're going to the gym if you are doing all those things give your skin some space just clean your skin uh, wash your face with your mild soap or facial washer and then apply the sunscreen you can also do like a smaller portion yeah. oil free moisturizers are very good for that and then you go out there and jog what happens when you run or when you sweat you're working out with those cosmetic whatever's is they clog your pores and that is when you get all that acne situation building up so you don't want to do that just deal with the kawaida pimples that we get once in a while and in a nice way you can come from your jogging shenanigans and wash your face take a good shower and apply whatever layers of makeup that you want to and you should be fine so this is what i see with you ladies out there okay you are jogging it is early in the morning now my fungus scarf in the name of not inhaling some cold air you must be kidding me the moment you funga that kitambako mapuazako you are 
breathing contaminated air. Simply put, carbon dioxide. And being something that I tried uh, practically, you always feel like una breathe hewa moto in a way. If you want to stay more warmer, you can put your hoodie on or you can tie this on your scalp, which is usually not a good thing to me because it gives me some itchy kind of uh, scalp. Uh, although Kifunga Manchester has a corner, some stamina, you know, I'm kidding. Anyway, please avoid doing that. And this is not, this is also not, not uh, necessary unless you are jogging when the sun is out, which is the biggest mistake again you can be doing to yourself. So we add this, okay? You know, um, I said we stay hydrated. We should stay hydrated when working out or when we are not. But staying hydrated does not mean you carry your two liters when you're going to jog. I said if you are doing something less than two hours, you don't need to carry your water. Water will increase your chances of getting uh, hiccups, choking, and feeling like you want to go to the toilet. So you don't really need your water. Keep it at home. Then take some when you're going, when you're preparing, like I said, and then you should be okay. It will be wastage of time carrying that water. Kupata stitch pia itakuwa very, very likely. So avoid all that. This I see a lot. The water bit and the waist trainer, it is usually ladies. For the weight, it is usually the men. So why are you even jogging with your weights? It is, it is not something you need to be doing they are likely to really perform very good on your arms and your legs but the risk of injury that other whatever that you're aiming for so carrying two weights and you're trying to run one stride in a kuwa longer than the other remember weight training is always about the form if you get the form badly off then you are risking uh, a possible injury. So to avoid getting injured, to avoid getting uh, the injuries because you're running with your weights, if you really need to do that, you can get a weighted vest for the men. It is usually a good idea. The weight distribution in the vest is, is very good. So you don't have to worry. You only need to put it on. Now Kiweka, then you focus on your posture when you're running and... That is it. So please don't jog with your weights. Injury rate you could do. And you will tore your muscles. Most probably muscles are mkono. Recovery itakuwa hard. And it is not worth it. So don't run with your weights. So you need to be aware of the route that you go to. And I think if there is anything anyone should never do in this life is being predictable. Alright. No one should be in a position to know that of course there is someone who will know uh, what your tomorrow looks like but that is like that should be like someone who knows you so much and someone who your secrets are safe with maybe someone you are staying with but don't be predictable don't be that kind of a person who wakes up at 6 and by 6 or 5 you are ready 6 10 you are right at your door getting ready to leave your gate if you jog, you realize and you know that there are always those people that you meet with. To an extent, ukipatana na wao either earlier, uh, and like where you usually meet them, you know either you are late or they are late or such. So in case of someone wanting to attack you, it is very easy to plan about it, very easy to ex execute all that. So to be safe, just twist a little things. You can have two routes that you go to or even three. Alright, know some routes that you can change. Don't be predictable. Mpaka, mtu wakikuona Monday, anajua vizuri, tomorrow utakuwa. Ama ukienda Monday, you skip. Tuesday, unaenda Wednesday. Don't be. At times, go three times in a week. The same route. Change for one day. Like, keep switching out things. You can delay your movement by five minutes. And that could mean a lot. So, don't be predictable when you're running. And whatever route you naenda, make sure that you know some detour kind of situation. For example, assuming you are taking your jog, kama kawaida, and you 
realize that there is someone who might attack you maybe coming your way or someone tries to scare you and you don't know what they mean so what do you do when you get off the main course what happens do you know where that place is leading to where that path of it's leading to it could lead you into a more dangerous uh situation because they could scare you knowing utapita this way and ukipita this way kuna one two three and you see clear and you get attacked so make sure that you are aware of your surrounding when you detour from your running course you know the smaller roads where they will be leading in terms of where you stay as a general rule when you outdoor running or jogging be very aware very aware about your surrounding and trust your instincts like a hundred percent all right if unapitana namtu for example you should give it some space in between you and that person so if this person has uh, a thought of maybe trying to attack you depending on who you are you can know how to deal with this, the situation if you think you are likely to fight perfect if you think you are likely to flee make sure that you trust your instincts like a hundred percent the situation that is uh coming hitting your head at the moment you feel like this is not a good thing trust me that is not a good thing don't gamble with it it is better that it may happen and then you realize oh you may overreact that thinking was just overboard and like you get attacked you are not expecting it and one way you'll be going to be attacked easily is when you wear those things the earphones the headphones and all that listening to a music currently like in nairobi it is very risky in the morning when you're going out jogging there and you have your 12 pro and all that that is another thing that will make it very very possible for you to get attacked when i have this my shoes and my tights everyone can see like i don't have anything literally so I know it is a risk going out there and not having a phone or not being in a position to be reached and stuff like that. All that is a risk. Staying home and accumulating all that weight is a risk. Um, carrying that phone and someone attacking you, maybe in Kabambe, Umenunua, some people buy the smaller phones, cheap phones to just use when you are running. But remember the person who is likely to attack you they don't know what kind of phone you you have all what they are thinking is this is there is a phone i can see it for your jacket kuna simu all what i need to do is get that phone and disappear in the process of that 1500 kabambe phone in aenda you might be injured kwa mkono yako and all that remember hata kuja seme leta simu kulete you know so i think as a risk to be taken it is better you just let people know the route that you're going to be jogging if anything happens have a number and you go off air then you know a call but at the same time if something really like temp terribly happened even with your phone where's it this idea some other people maybe what of idea maybe i am for the idea that you just leave your phones at home because like i said specifically in nairobi you will get attacked I can't count how many times nimeona that happening. I can't count. I would be lying to say nimeona once, nimeona twice. Utaona tu mtu amefikiwa kidogo kidogo, earphone imevurutwa, simu imeenda someone ame discipline the ticket. So what you need to do is leave your phones at home. So the issues about strangers unapitana na wao. Another rule of the thumb just to to reduce the risk of being attacked every time unapitana na mtu I am running towards the direction of the camera and there is someone coming my way. Nimempea distance, they are going on with their business. I'm keeping my eye on them. At the same time, I'm watching on where I am stepping because yeah, you need to be careful not to get injured. So, every time unapitana na mtu, you are jogging, they are going the opposite direction. Make sure that you don't go three steps without looking at the back to see whether they are still continuing with their journey hama because it is very impossible or even unlikely for someone to attack you akikuja direction yako in most cases and the cases that nimeona someone will pass you and then after mumepitana vizuri a turn back 
because you're assuming Amanda and maybe Mbele you're focusing on someone at the far corner huko kwa barabara coming your way and then you don't realize it and there's no better way of being attacked like someone attacking you from your rear side because you can't see them so you'll be not expecting anything most probably utashtuka and yeah your defense wall mechanism planning will be shattered and they can do whatever that they are planning to do with you so keep it on and to make sure that immediately like go three steps angalia nyuma make a practice of running or jogging and at the same time slow kidogo check out nyuma what is happening and continue jogging running jogging outside is risky living it in itself is risky so you can't say i'm not going to stay active outdoors because i don't want to get injured i don't want to be attacked and all that that would be like the lamest thing that you can ever say lamest in english word by the i don't know that is it for today thank you so much for being here please go out there be active jog if it is your thing observe some of those things that maybe you have not been observing you can also tell me some other things that i can do just to make sure that i reduce the chances of injury and attack and such my name is Rachel in case you forgot remember it is mondays wednesdays and saturdays 1 p.m nairobi time i'll see you then Bye.